Spirit leads and reveals. Romans chapter 8 and verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9, 10, and 16. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ye heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. What powerful verses that reveal to us the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives as believers. The Bible tells us that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God or the other children of God. Or we could state it like this, the children of God have the privilege of being led by the Spirit of God. So imagine somebody leading you. They know the way you follow. They know where to make the turn, you go with them. They know how to circumvent the potholes, the uh, dangerous things that might come your way. They know when to pause and stop, and they know when to keep moving. So someone is leading you, you follow. Now that's how the Holy Spirit is. He comes to lead us because we are the children of God. So He is our guide. He's the one who knows the way. He's the one who goes before us. And then he teaches us the way in which we should go. One of the ways the, uh, the Holy Spirit leads us, as, as we see in Romans 8, is that he bears witness with our spirit. That means he's speaking to us, inside us, in our spirit. And he's saying, this is the way I want you to walk in. Go this way. And we saw, as we see in 1 Corinthians 2, the Apostle Paul tells us, that God has some amazing things prepared for those who love Him. What eyes haven't seen, what ears haven't heard, what man has never even thought of. And then God reveals this to us by His Spirit. While those, uh, those things refer to the mysteries revealed in Scripture, we also understand that personal things, things for you specifically, that God has prepared in your life and for your life, the Holy Spirit reveals them to you. That means He unveils them. He opens you, your spiritual eyes to see. He opens the heart of your spirit to understand and know this is what belongs to me. That's why Paul concludes there in verse 16, we have the mind of Christ. That means the very thoughts that Christ thinks, the, uh, the knowledge, the, the, the insights, the, the things that He has, the Holy Spirit imparts to us. What a wonderful work. The Holy Spirit leads us. He reveals the things of God to us. Ask Him for His guidance. Ask Him for His revelation. Receive from Him. Receive the ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, thank You that You lead us. Thank You. You reveal the things of God to us. You reveal the plans and the purposes of God to us. Help us, Lord, to hear, to listen, and to receive your leading and your revelation in our spirits as you speak to us. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.